My name is Paul, Centre Liaison Officer, Namanbar Correctional Centre. I've been in corrections a long time, uh, Queensland Corrections. I've been at Namanbar here this year, 22 years at the, at the centre here. Uh, previous to that, I had um, some experience down in New South Wales at Goulburn and Grafton Correctional Centres. Also overseas at uh, Majesty's Park Prison as well. The biggest thing about Namanbar is that courage for community projects and that giving back. And it, that's what makes it a bit special here. It, not only internally, externally with the uh, Warwick Work Camp and community projects. We're not actually taking anybody's employment away, but we're actually a niche in the market where people had done our volunteers to help out. So that's where we help out as much as possible. So I think that's what makes uh, Namanbar very unique is uh, how we do our core business. The lines bring the glasses in, we, we take the boxes off the ute, we take them upstairs where we usually get between 40 to 60 box boxes. We put them in the um, room where we grade them, right down the, the um, strength, the spear and the angle. Uh, we then package them back up, we do them in crates of 200 and then when we get to 200 we pack it into a box and label it what they are and then the lions will come every fortnight to pick them up. Well I think um, the programme itself has always been very worthwhile for the ladies here. Um, one of the biggest things we always talk about, a lot of people make the, uh, the wrong choices in life and uh, go through the court system. Their self-esteem is quite low but being part of this project actually builds their confidence again and also gives them that courage, if you like, to give reparation and give back to the community. The ladies want to give back to the community. They, they feel they have let down people in their own lives and family uh, throughout short, because coming to incarceration and being in correctional centres. There's a bit of training involved with the machines. So obviously they need to know what grading of the glasses, etc. Most of it is quite self-taught. So it's a bit of hand-me-down from the lead in hand to the next person that comes along. Um, and what happens is then, yeah, people like to stay up there and work and then be involved. You know, we get about 40 boxes in and each one's got about 200 to 250 pairs of glasses in. And I believe over that period of time, they, you know, each month they can average between, I suppose, 6,000 up to 10, 12,000. But the ladies are very industrious up there. You know, we have up to about four to five ladies working up there and they really enjoy their job and they, they work from the morning to the afternoon and some put in extra yards for that because they really enjoy what they do. And they set their targets, which I think you saw the board earlier, which actually give targets for the month and the collection of those. So they, they feel good and they also look at those targets as uh, what they need to do and what they require, yeah. The impact on them is actually when they do leave the correctional centre, they actually volunteer in other charity organisations, which has been quite unique as well. So they actually, although they want to give back here, they also want to give back when externally to the centre. So they find time in their own, I suppose, uh, balance of life when they leave here, or if they got employment, they still like to volunteer out there. So it does give a really good community spirit, yeah.